Sometimes, obviously, he gets both hands in. As soon as that happens, guys, I'm gonna go down on the bottom hand, up on the top hand, right? And I'm gonna push this hand out to break that grip. This hand's gonna go to the wrist, two on one, here. I'm gonna pistol grip here and start to stand up to look to start to pass, okay? So let's go from, you know, he has the choke. So I'm here, I'm here. Before he starts to bend those elbows and drop, I wanna to try to catch that. In pushing down and pushing over, I'm giving a little bit of space around my neck so that the pressure on the carotid arteries isn't so tight so I can still breathe. My brain still has oxygen. So I'm this way, pushing down. Now I'm gonna, I'm gonna be careful with my training partner, but I'm gonna push that elbow out there, this hand to the wrist. You know, if I'm strong enough to pop with one hand, awesome. But a lot of times this grip is deep and it's good. So I need two on one and I need hands moving forward, shoulders moving back. Now I have this, right? I'm gonna start to stand. He may keep his guard and I may pull him up with him in guard, but it doesn't matter. So that's how we're gonna defend that cross choke from the guard, working this block. Questions on that? Awesome, two for two on two, ready one?